Hello everyone. As decided in the last presentation, where we have discussed various aspects of rolling collet bearing and their section procedure, in today's presentation we intend to solve some numericals. These are all unsolved problems from the well-known book of book by V. Vandari. We will try to solve these numericals adopting the approach that has been laid down in the previous presentations to facilitate better understanding. So before move for, moving further, let us quickly recall what is the section procedure that we have studied that is being used to select a particular rolling coded bearing from the catalog. First we need to find what are radial and axial loads if they are not given. Then depending on the ratio FA by FR, we need to select which bearing is to be used like ball bearing, roller bearing or content bearing or self running bearing. Then we will find X and Y from the tables and for that we require C0. So we will take FA by C0 but before that we need to use trial and error method which we will discuss in detail in the next slides. Then we will find equivalent dynamic load by putting the values of x and y in the formula. Then we will take the decision about L10 life, L10 life in million revolutions from the data book or catalog. Then from the load life relationship we will find dynamic load carrying capacity we will see for the selected bearing C tabulated is more as C calculated or it is less. If it is more then we will move on to next series of bearing and we will repeat the exercise until value of C that is dynamic load carrying capacity that we have calculated comes out to be less than the value of C which is tabulated and in the last we will find the revised level of bearing for the tabulated value of C using load life relationship. With this quick uh, recalling of the procedure let us move on to the numericals. In the very first numerical we are supposed to select a bearing which is to operate at 1500 rpm and is acted upon by a 8000 newton radial load and 5000 newton axial load. The shaft diameter is 45 mm. That means all the bearings whose last digit is 09 they might be suitable for the application. So we have to see which bearing among the present among the available one shall suit our application. So we will try to use the procedure that we have under uh, studied in the previous presentations. FR is given, FA is given, N is given and D is 45 millimeter. Elton life is given as 500 hours. First of all since FA and FR is, are given to us, there is no need to find these loads. What we will see, we will see what is the ratio of FA by FR. It is coming out to be 0.625 and we know when FA by FR is less than 0.7, single row deep roof wall bearing will work. So by this time we have fixed that any single row deep roof wall bearing Share, might be suitable for our application. Now since life is given in hours, we will convert that into million revolutions. The same comes out to be 45 million revolutions. Now the next job is to find equivalent dynamic load for the given value of FR and FA. We will use this formula P is X V F R plus y fa. We will assume v as 1 
which is raise rotation factor when inner rays is rotating. And it is worth mentioning that until unless mentioned, will always use V as 1. Now, since we have already studied the thing that the selection is based on trial and error method, when we go to the table, we found that there are number of bearings that ends with 0, 9. So, as a first trial, we will take bearing as 6, 0, 0, 9. We might have taken these also, but their load carrying capacity is rather lower side. So we will start with this bearing. If it comes out to be safe, then we will move on to this. Otherwise, we will move in this direction. So C0 is 12200 for this case. So for FA 5000 and C0 12200, FA by C0 comes out to be 0 0.409 which is within this range 0 0.250 and 0 0.500. So by interpolation and for the same value of E is 0 0.37 to 0 0.44. And since our FA by FR is more than E, our FA by FR is more than E, so we will use these set of values. So by interpolation assuming X as 0 0.56 and y as 1.1. Our p comes out to be x v f r plus y f a that is 9980 newton. So this is how we found our equivalent dynamic load using this formula. Now, now we have found what is L10 in grain revolutions and we have calculated p so using the load life relationship, we can find what is dynamic load carrying capacity C. The same comes out to be 35497 newtons. This is C calculated. And for the first trial bearing 6009, C tabulated is 21200. Obviously 35497 which is calculated is more than the value of C which is tabulated. So this bearing is not safe for our application. So we will move on to next series of bearing. Now since the difference is very high, we can skip this 6209 and we can straight away go to bearing 6309. This is our second trial. So repeating the same procedure with the bearing number 6209 that is Again finding FA by C0, again seeing whether FA by FR is less than E or more than E, then finding X and Y will calculate P and from P will calculate C. And we need to see whether the value of C which we have calculated is it is more than the C which is tabulated or less than the C which is tabulated. So repeating the same procedure for the bearing 609, we found C as 39054, which is less than the C which is tabulated for bearing 6309, 52700. And the difference is pretty good. So that means that bearing 6309 is having required load carrying capacities. So this bearing is suitable for our application. Further, since we got C as T9054, in actual our C has now 52700. So for this revised C, we will again find Elton life. So Elton life comes out to be 110 MR. Earlier it was 45 million revolutions. If we convert the same in hours, it comes out to be 1 to 2, 8 hours, whereas we are required to set bearing only for 500 hours. So the bearing will definitely cover the entire useful life. So this numerical is expected to clear the selection procedure of rolling coded bearing, how they are selected. 
and it is worth mentioning that this procedure is invariably used to select pairings from the catalog. Coming to the next question, this question pertains to cyclic loads where we have where we have been given two loads radial axle for two different time periods one is for 10 seconds and another is for 20 seconds and then they get repeated we need to find what would be life of bearing in hours we have used this formula when we have discussed the sliding uh, rolling coded bearing here P1 and P2 are given by X1 FR1 plus Y1 FA1 and X2 FR2 and Y2 FA2 and N1 and N2 are number of revolutions. Since first load cycle is at 720 RPM for 10 seconds, so in one minute it is evolving 720 revolutions. So in 10 seconds it will make 120 revolutions. Similarly, for the second cycle of 20 seconds, N2 will be 480 evolutions. Now, to be able to use this formula, we need to find P1 and P2 and for that we need to find X1, Y1, X2 and Y2. Now, we will use the same table to find value of X and Y. Uh, first, we will find X1 and Y1. Our FA1 by C0 is 0.25, so this set of values will be applicable. And since FA by FR1 is less than E, so our X1 is 1 and Y1 is 0. For this value of X1 Y1, we found what is P1. Now coming on to X2 and Y2, now FA2 by C0 is 0.125. Which, in, which is within this range and since FA2 by FR2 is 0 0.416 which is more than the value of E for the said value of FA by C0 our X2, this set of values will be applicable for us so by interpolation we found X2 as 0.56 and Y2 as 1.42 and we found P2 as 17275 Newton now X1, Y1, X2, Y2 P1, P2 and N1, N2 are known to us, we can easily find what will be FPE. It comes out to be 28168 Newton. Now we will use the load life relationship because C is already given to us. PE we have found. We can find L10 which is 14.06 million revolutions. We can convert the same into hours which is 195.4 hours which is the required answer. So you, you see that we can very easily we can use the uh, data and we can find the desired parameter. Third question is rather simple one. Uh, in this question we are supposed to find what is frictional torque and what is power lost in friction for a cylindrical roller bearing. Its bore diameter is given as 40 mm, drill force is given, friction coefficient is given, and speed of rotation is given. So we know that frictional torque is frictional force, which is mu into fr into radius, which is g by 2. So it comes out to be 600 Newton millimeter. And power loss in friction is nothing but frictional torque into omega, so putting all the values the answer comes out to be 0 0.09 kilowatt. So in this case, the cylindrical roller bearing will lost 0 0.09 kilowatt power in friction. Coming to the next question. In this question, we have been given that there is a radial force of 2500 Newton, axial force of 1000 Newton, Dynamic load carrying capacity, which is C, 735 Newton. Value of X and Y are given to us. Shaft is rotating at 720 RPM. We just need to calculate what is life of bearing. Since 
that data is given, we can easily find what will be P XVFR plus YFA. And using the load life relationship, we can easily find what will be L10 in millennial evolutions. And we can convert the same into Rs. You see, these are unsolved questions. And within uh, 5 10 minutes, we can easily solve these questions. The purpose of this presentation is to instill confidence in the students that yes, unsolved questions can also be solved with ease if we are sure about if we have gone, we have gone through the procedure, we have gone through the theory in a better way. Fifth question is also a simple one, uh, like rather cyclic loading again. The riddle load is 2500 Newton for first five revolutions that reduces to 1500 Newton for the next 10 revolutions and then the cycle repeats. Life is given as 20 million revolutions. We just need to find what is C or dynamic load carrying capacity. So since FA is missing here, so FR1, FR2 are known. So P1 will be simply FR1, P2 will be FR2. N1 and N2 we can find, we are already given 5 evolutions and 10 evolutions. So we first found this PE and from load life relationship for a life of 20 MR, we found C as 5303.4 Newtons, which is the required answer. In the next question, this question wants to test our understanding for reliability other than 90%. Here it has been given that the radial load is 3000 Newtons and the life is 10,000 hours at 720 RPM with the reliability of 95%. We need to find dynamic load carrying capacity of the bearing so that it can be selected from the catalog based on 90% reliability. Further, if there are four such bearings with a reliability of 95% each, then what will be the reliability of the complete system? We have studied this by Wolf's distribution formula. Now, here L95 is given to us, which is 10,000 hours. We need to convert that into million evolutions. R95 is reliability, reliability that is 0.95. R90 is 0.9. From this formula, we need to find L10 in million evolution. So, First, we convert L95 hours into million evolutions. We put this value over here. Value of R95 is 0.95, R90 is 0.9, and value of B, which is a constant 1.17 for L50 equals to 5 L10. And from the from here, we found L10 is 7.9.2 million evolutions, and from load life relationship. We found C as 2784059 Newtons. Further, we are also supposed to find reliability of complete system. So we have studied this formula. The system reliability is reliability of each bearing raised to power number of bearings. So system reliability comes out to be 81.45 percent. So these are few questions, few unsolved questions that we have tried to solve based on whatever we have studied in the previous classes. I hope that you will be able to see these questions like questions ko karne koshish karenge, so that your understanding will be better developed and you will be able to see these other questions. Ko bhi se kar I hope you have enjoyed the presentation. Uh, thank you so much for patient hearing.